Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here with a different video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to replace your RAM for your ASUS laptop. This one is a TP501U. So people keep asking question if I can upgrade the RAM on these models. So we're going to figure that out today. So first thing first, you want to flip over your laptop and you want to remove all the visible uh, screws. So there are Two, three on, four on the top side by the hinges. One, two, three, four. There are one on each side, one right there, and one right in the other side. There are four in the front, two in the middle almost, and one on every corner. Then in the corner, front corner ones, the, the shorter one right here, you can see the two short, the rest are the same size. So don't worry about mismatching the rest as long as you don't mismatch the two tiny ones on the front corners. Right. Once you got the screws removed, and if you wanna know which, what screwdriver I use, I use this iFix toolkit. It has all the tools that you need, the prying tool, the opening tools, and all the bits that you need. So mostly right now I'm going to be working with this one so you can actually take it apart. Alright, once you got it to this position, you can get your opening tool from the set. Or you can grab anything like it. I use a guitar pick. It's really handy. You want to open your laptop in 45 degree angle. And you want to shove the guitar pick just a little bit between the top and the bottom cover. And you're gonna wiggle it around just like that. Just you want to hear those clicks. Just like that. Do the sides a little bit. Alright. Once you did the sides and the front end. Now what do you want to do? You want to open it up just like this. Open the hinge a little more towards the back. And just be careful right here. Let me see if I can show it to you guys. Or right, what you want to do? You want to unhook the trackpad right here and the keyboard use the prime to the plastic ones that they include in the toolkit so what are you going to do you're going to up lift up the black hinge back here 90 degree same thing with the keyboard just 90 degree next you can just slide out the ribbon cable Next, you want to open it up completely and remove the top part. Well, this is your keyboard and trackpad. Put this one to a side. Now you're going to be working down here. So what do you have here? It's the motherboard, the hard drive, the Wi-Fi board, the battery. The humongous battery. It's actually one, two, three cell battery. There's a three red and three black ones. So it's divided in three parts. And you can see the RAM is soldered on the board, at least on this side. So you cannot remove the RAM on this side. We're gonna open the board and we're gonna flip it over to see if the RAMs on the other side that actually has socket RAM and they are not soldered on the board. So we're gonna remove the hard drive. I really hope that the other RAM is upgradable. Otherwise this video is not gonna be fun. And I hope you guys don't judge me. I haven't opened it up. I just opened the back screw. 
some people say yes you can so i just want to show them if it's really true or not right, we're gonna take this hard drive out we're gonna take the wi-fi module Forty-five degree angle. We can go ahead and disconnect the battery, but I don't see a necessary. We're gonna lift up this connector. And I'm not gonna remove it. I just wanna get to the other side. So if I remove the battery, the BIOS is gonna reset. I don't wanna reset the BIOS, but if you want, you can just disconnect it. Lots of screws. You don't need to do this one, so I'm just doing it for you guys so you guys can see what's on the other side and if it's worth taking it apart or not. If it is worth, then you can just watch the video slowly and just go back and remove all the screws that they pretty much they have a white arrow on them, so just follow the white arrows and then you'll be fine. So the whole thing is out. Oh, there's one more right there. Sneaky one. Let's get that sneaky one out too. I just want to take a peek on the other side. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's remove the. Next cable for that one. Remove the audio jack. Oh, guess what? Uh, now, this is something good. Yes, you can upgrade your RAM on the other side. So on this side, pretty much you have an stick RAM. They could have put a nice cover at the bottom so you can just open from the underneath and remove it. But apparently they don't like that. So in order to remove the RAM, you don't need actually, you see, I don't remove the battery, you don't need to. You can pull these two triggers apart and the RAM will come in 45 degree angle. Just pull out, this is a DDR4 RAM and just put in 45 degree angle down there and just snap it in place. That's as easy. This is a 4 gig and if the other side is 4 gig, then you have an 8 gig. But if you need uh, more gigs for the for more video working or something else, then go ahead. Then you can add a 16 gig in there. I wouldn't go any higher than 16 gig on the other side. So we're gonna put it back down. Put the I/O side in there first. Make sure it's nice and toggled inside. Everything is in place. All right, now we're gonna put the screws back in. Just follow me. These two white screws are for the hinges. All right. The long one, the longer one is for the fan right there. The short one is the one right there between the Ethernet jack. The one right here. No, this one is the long one, I think. I believe. I guess. Yeah. That's the long one right there. And I have the camera right in front of me. One right there. The rest are the same size, so don't worry. Be happy. I don't know if I can put music on the channel, then they're gonna do some copyright stuff, so I'd rather not. Alright, put this one in the corner and the last one on this corner. And then you want to grab your Wi-Fi jack 
I mean Wi-Fi board stick it in 45 degree angle and then slide it all the way down this one is the big thick one once you got all these ones in make sure you go back and connect your, your speaker cable right there where the hard drive goes now you can go ahead and connect the power switch and all the volume rocker ribbon which is this one slide it right underneath make sure it's all the way in and then close the hinge now we got that in there organize the cables right here so you don't want to pinch any of this nothing will happen if you pinch so it's a good thing to not pinch it there you have it what if i put it right there Next, grab the hard drive, put it in offset position, and then slide it towards the jack. Put the screws for the hard drive. They're all the same size, so don't worry about it. There are five of them. A bit exaggerating, I guess, but if you put the two back ones, you don't need the front ones, so. You actually do need this one, but this one is holding the main board right here. All right, now that we got all this in, oh, go back and plug in your display cable right there. You're just gonna push it inward. There, make sure it's straight, nice and snuggled right in there the fan cable all the connectors are in place uh, this is display cable and this cable right here this is for the touch screen so you got the touch screen and you got the display port all right and the last thing is to grab the top cover i mean the keyboard cover uh, you want to keep it in 45 degree position just like this and you want to maybe move a lever towards the right side so the cable is actually gets here so you can put something underneath here on this side so it can it doesn't come down with you so if you have a lot of help there it will be fine come back here there we go I'm gonna shove the keyboard underneath and close it. Do the same thing with the touchpad. Right there. And close it. They're yeah, right there. Both of them are closed. Then you can open it back up and align it right there push it down now what you want to do you want to grab from the hand side push it downward pretty much you're pinching it and you want to hear those clicks just on the sides don't you don't need to press in the middle there we go once you did that you can flip it over make sure there's no opening if there's any opening just pinch it and it will just go in place and you want to turn it back down and you're going to put the longest screws everywhere and the, you can start with the short one so you don't actually mistake them put the two short one in the corner one in here and one right there and the rest just fill up the holes right here. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys liked it, click that thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. If you guys have any questions or any requests, leave them in the comments area. I'll try to answer all my comments as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video.